Hello, welcome to the Regional Transportation Plan Online Open House. I'm Gary Simonson, Senior Planner with PSRC's Transportation Planning Division, and I'm here today to provide an overview of maintenance and preservation in the plan. Maintaining and preserving the region's existing transportation system in a safe and usable condition is critical to keeping people and goods moving throughout the region. This is why maintenance and preservation continues to be a top priority of the Regional Transportation Plan. It accounts for the majority, 56%, of all investments in the plan's financial strategy. This is a $300 billion plan with nearly $170 billion going towards maintenance and preservation. PSRC has developed an array of approaches to estimate what the maintenance and preservation need of the region's transportation system will be through the life of the plan. This is across all types of transportation and includes local, regional, and state agencies. In terms of the financial strategy, meeting the region's needs means that all existing maintenance and preservation backlogs are fully funded and that the appropriate investments are made to keep all transportation facilities and assets in satisfactory or good condition through the year 2050. The region faces various challenges when it comes to maintaining and preserving our transportation system. Unfortunately, maintenance and preservation continues to be underfunded, particularly when it comes to roadways and bridges. Years of deferred maintenance have led to some jurisdictions facing significant maintenance and preservation backlogs. Many agencies are experiencing budget shortfalls and existing resources allocated to maintenance and preservation have not been sufficient to address these backlogs, or in some cases, prevent them from growing. Challenges also remain in terms of jurisdictions being able to collect and apply transportation asset condition data in a consistent manner. These disparate data sets do not always integrate neatly and can make estimating regional scale need as well as making apples to apples comparisons between local jurisdiction needs more difficult. The plan recommends that going forward, PSRC should continue to work with local agencies to improve and streamline the process of collecting condition data and estimating need. In addition, future work can be done to better identify the increased costs associated with deferred maintenance. Please check out the link below this video to the maintenance and preservation section of the draft plan, where you can find all the details. We love to hear your comments and ideas, so please click on the button below this video to leave feedback or through the main website comment form. All comments that we receive will be summarized and presented to the PSRC Transportation Policy Board, a group of elected and appointed officials and other community business, labor and environmental leaders as they refine and make changes to the plan this spring. Thank you for visiting our online open house and please check out the other topics.